Hey guys, Dancy2, back with more Mega Man Zero Three, and these cyberalls are loving the shit out of me. You guys are so adorable and awesome. Anyway, last time, we took on Cubit Foxtrar and gained the soul launch ability that I've just demonstrated. Making our chain rod, not our chain rod, our recoil rods officially badass. Huh, you can't use Thousand Slash off the side. That's weird. Anyway, today we are going to go after... Yes! Alright, cool. We're going after our last EX skill off of this guy. This is the guy... This is the EX skill I thought Blizzard Stagoff had, but I was horribly wrong. And they're both they're both ice elemental bosses, and they're not children, so I did it. I for, kind of got mixed up there, so that's my fault. Oh no, the New York Arcade forces are too strong. What, whatever will I do when I have to fight generic enemies? Oh no. Anyway, let's go get our data about our enemies instead of going to kill them. This is, honest to God, this is really kind of a padding issue I have. But really, and this goes back to the previous scene as well, all the complaints I have about this game are more nitpicks than anything else, and I have to bring them up just because if I don't, I'll feel like I'm not giving this game a full-on, you know, look at. I just love the happy cheering music for this level. It's so stupid and out of place. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Wait, I should probably switch back to my normal side rail setup now that I am no longer dealing with that stuff. Beast Knight. Boom. Bam. Love Soul Launch. Whoa, Nelly. Forgot about these guys. These guys are a crazy, like, hoverboards and they swing flails. <laughs> they look so weird. Haha, <laughs> whoa. Stop it. You guys are really gonna start pissing me off. I just can't get over this music, it's... Why is this so happy and cheery and crap? Whoa. Bypassing a lot of enemies here. At least I don't remember the stage all that well. I think you can knock them off and steal their hoverboards, like a lack of two cloud in Super Mario World, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, here. There's the fire. Yeah, Soul Launch has quite a bit of range upwards, so long as there's no ceiling above you. If there's a ceiling above you, it'll actually uh, arc right below the ceiling, as you saw in the previous episode, which makes it a useful ability. Anyway, we have the return of our very strangely animated boss. I don't know why this guy looks so weird to me. I'm just going to make him in the mincemeat with my Falcon Slash and Soul Launch abilities. I think that hurts me. No, it slows me down. Fire down. Yeah. Soul Launch has a bit of a delay if you don't have a roof over you, so you got to factor that in, and I'm relearning that right now. But yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said Recoil Rod is all about the charge attack. Going up, down, left, or right, it's really useful in all regards. Oh, I was hoping I, I was ho Oh, the flame would have hit him too, damn. Get out of here. I say, please let there be ground under me. Uh, 
Oh, thank God it's over. What is that? Hello, Senor Fat Man. Yes. Wait, obviously, if Dovakin can do it, so can I. I never really understood why this guy is ice elemental, but whatever. It looks a lot like the plant boss of ZX Advent. Haha, <laughs> taste my fire. Anyway, he's kind of just pathetic all... I don't know if he's pathetic. I haven't fought this guy in a long time, so I kind of forget most of his moves. Fusion, Hacker, last one. What am I doing? I have Rising Slash. Fire on the ground. Keep the fire on the ground so I can... Gotcha. Yeah, if you abuse the chips, these guys really aren't that bad of a deal. Well, that's going to be hard to deal with later. Yeah, shut your mouth about your judgment. Spike foot chip, catch the EX skill. Got the orbit shield. Orbit shield is kind of awesome. Discover the data inside the container. Sure, cover all data. Continue searching for more data. Okay, you do that if you're freaking data. Bring me home. It's all about the data. Data, 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 data. Can I just go kill these guys, please? You know, it's not that hard of a request, you know. He's trying to kill everyone and take over the world. It's kind of obvious. Ugh, forget it. Alright, now, does... No, it does not override. Okay. Now, I forget how this works. I forget if they'll go off together or... Because obviously we have two shield abilities. Huh. I thought they went off together. I know the ice chip is what is associated with orbit shield. Huh. Ah, press down and use the shield and ring. Okay. So... Yep, there you go. That's orbit shield. Orbit shield is kind of awesome. The really cool thing about it is the ice chip that's used with it increases its amount of rotations. As you can see here, it just goes around four times, but the ice chip it goes around either six or eight. It goes around a lot. I so if you plan on using the shield shield boomerang at all, these two moves are really good for you. And they're really good to use, and you can use them together too, so that makes them even better. Yep, and as I established before, it seems to be quarter circle in any direction will allow you to um, pull off the uh, combo moves in the collection edition at least, so that's where you gotta do that. Probably quarter circle forward. Huh. Quarter circle forward seems to... Okay, quarter circle forward is now doing that. Uh, quarter circle back, maybe? Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Quarter circle back, or uh, downwards, like, i.e. the same move as uh, our charge saver is what you get for shield, uh, orbit shield. So, if that didn't make any sense at all, that's fine. I'm just kind of confirming it for myself. And, you know, making clicky sounds for you guys to hear, and I'm sorry about that, but it's just how my setup works. My controller sucks, so deal with it. Anyway, next time we're going to be going after our 
uh, lightning elemental boss for this third part of the game, and I will see you guys then.